The skies are clear and the weather is warm, hopefully for an awesome session of astrophotography tonight. Hi everyone, my name is Noah and welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute. I'm really excited tonight because it's in the middle of November and it's 60 degrees out here and it feels awesome outside. Perfect conditions to do some astrophotography tonight. Minnesota's weather has been all over the place recently with having snow around Halloween and now the temperatures have warmed up to really well above average for this mid-November time. That's perfect for me because I would love to get out to do some astrophotography because I have been locked away a seal of clouds for a while now. As much as I would love to have an awesome video planned for you guys, I think I'm just going to take it really chill today and I'm going to really just be having a night under my backyard night sky doing some astrophotography tonight. I really don't have any targets planned for this night, although I am thinking of either the Triangulum Galaxy or the Pleiades Star Cluster, both of which are beautiful broadband targets perfect for the low moon phase we have tonight. If you haven't noticed already, fall peak for this area has been well past since early to mid-October and the leaves have completely fallen off all the trees as you can see in my backyard. I was really hoping to do some astrophotography during the fall peak because that's always a beautiful time of the year, but unfortunately I just had a lot of cloud cover during the October period and a below average temperatures didn't make that any better. I still managed to get some astrophotography done this fall, however, and in fact, check out this awesome picture of NGC 206, a star cluster within the Andromeda Galaxy I shot earlier this fall. I'm really stoked how this one turned out and it was a bit of a challenge and a unique image and process than I normally do. Before the sun inevitably goes down, as it's already so dark out here, let me tell you a bit about the setup I'm going to be using tonight. So this is the exact same setup I've used in so many of my videos in the past, which is my Celestron CPC 1100 telescope and my ZWO ASI 294 MC Pro camera. And that's all riding on my Skywatcher CPC mount. I also have my auto guider and focal reducer attached to the camera to give a nice wider view of the night sky. I still don't know exactly what I'm going to shoot tonight, but I would love to shoot the Pleiades star cluster as it's an amazingly beautiful star cluster in the northern hemisphere. And I've never really seen it up close with a telescope such as this before. So I think that would be an interesting take on it tonight. Hi everyone, welcome back outside. It's cooled down considerably since the day and I've set up my telescope and I have it pointed to M45, the Pleiades star cluster right now. I had to wait a bit for it to rise. So to pass the time, I took pictures of the double cluster in the constellation Cassiopeia, I believe. But now I'm focused on the Pleiades, specifically the star Merope in the Pleiades star cluster. I chose this one specifically because it's very bright and it has a lot of cool dust lines around it. And it's one of the more prominent features of the Pleiades star cluster. Hi everybody, Future Noah here. I'm here inside because I wanted to give you a quick look on how I processed my image on M45, the Pleiades star cluster from the other night. Hi everyone, I'm in PixInsight. And PixInsight is a great tool that I use to do some of my stacking and also pre-processing of my astro images. So right here I have my auto save of my Pleiades star cluster nebula stack. So this is the linear version of the image. And if I do a screen transfer function to do an auto stretch, here we go. So that is the Pleiades star cluster, the, at least the portion I did which this star right here is the star of Merope. It's a very bright star. And this nebulous cluster right here is the Merope Nebula, which is a reflection nebula in the Pleiades. 
Okay, so as I said, this is the auto stretched version of my completed stacked image from the other night. And what I did from here is I first, here is the stretched version. And then I did a dynamic background extraction, which helped neutralize the background here. So as contrasted from the other example, where there's some color aberrations and contrast problems, that was fixed by the dynamic background extraction, a pretty awesome tool. So here is a more flat and starless image of the Pleiades area I shot. And here is that corresponding star mask. Using those two layers, I like to bring it into Photoshop. And for example, here is what I have done for you guys. So I spent a, I've spent a few hours processing this and this is about my final product. If we go back and toggle all these off, Here's that same layer that I showed you in PixInsight. And from there, I did some color adjustments to neutralize the background. And then I did some curves adjustments. And I did some noise reduction and more curves adjustments, as well as some color adjustments and saturation. And from there, I did a bit more nitpicking and brightening up some of the areas where the bright Merope star is. And as well as I did some sharpening and some more final touches. I then added some of the stars in with star masking. And then from there I had pretty much a final product. And from there, the only things I did was I added some more contrast, hue and saturation levels until I got to here. So I know I don't share many of my processing and behind the scenes on this channel, but I wanted to give a sneak peek in that today because I think it's really cool how an image such as this can come out of such unprocessed data. I'm really, really amazed of all the detail that was able to come out in some of the dimmer reflection nebulae portions of the Pleiades star cluster, especially around the outside areas of the Merope Nebula, which is the brightest region in the image. I really hope you all liked me showing off this new unique image on the channel, and I'll definitely see if I can add some more behind the scenes coming up. With that all said, I'll lead it back to the backyard to finish things off. See you guys. Well, that about covers it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching me do a quick session of astrotography tonight, just as much as I have. And I really hope my final image of the Pleiades star cluster is worthwhile tonight. With that all said, I hope you all have an awesome day. And until next time, clear skies.